First thing that I want to do is I can from pretty print import pretty print as pp. That way our output looks a lot clearer. So from our previous video, our movie theater seating application, um, we're going to continue that and we're going to ask the question how many seats are still available. We also want to ask the question, how much money did we just earn? And in our previous application, there were three rows and five chairs per row labeled A, B, C, D, and E. While the rows were labeled 0, 1, and 2. As a quick review. We first said C was able to, chairs were able equal to A, B, C, D, and E. Then we said rows were equal to range 0 through 3. And then I stated X was equal to the following. For each letter in C, A, B, C, D, E, I want to see letter, colon, colon, empty, for each one of these. So A colon empty, B colon empty, C colon empty, etc. For each Y in R. Now here's my range, and it's going to go 0, 1, and 2. All right. Let's see what we get now. Let's do a PP of X. And there we go. Well, I'd like to sum this up. I'd like to uh, add one for each y that is in x. And I should get three. And I do. Here's x. For each y in x would be this guy, that's one y, that's two y's, that's three y's. So they're acting like rows. I want to complicate this just a little bit more. I'd like to take this and make it a bit more complex. I'd like to make this a, a summation. Really, what would for y and x? I'd like that to be the outer loop. I'd like to be, have an inner loop. I'd like to sum up by one for each z in y dot values. Open close friends and a close friends space. Now, let's look at this real close. For each y in x, here's the zero with y, the first, the second, and the third y. Okay? Now, for each one of these y's, this is what I'd like you to do. Sum up by one. For each individual element in y's values. That's these guys. So he looks at this y, and he goes, Y dot values. Ah, that's the second guy. These are the values. These are the keys. So he goes one, two, three, four, and five. For each Y and X, jumps down to the next Y. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For each Y and X, jumps down to the next one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's what I should get. Let's check my parentheses. Open, 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 open. I think we're good to go. I'm going to hit enter. And I got 15. That means we've got 15 seats. We got three rows and we got 15 seats total. Oh, but now Victoria and George come in. And they're going to buy two tickets. So X is 
zeroth row and x is ath key is now assigned the value of Victoria put in Vic for short and x is zeroth row and bth key is assigned the value of George. So the boss comes in and he says, oh my goodness, uh, I want to know uh, how much money we're going to make. How many seats are available first? How many seats are available? Well, we know the total number of seats available are 15. But can we change this so we can get the number of seats that, well, let's first take a look at this now. I'm going to key in PPX. And we see that everything, all the values are empty except for A and B. Ah, that gives me a good idea. Let's sum up one for each z in the y values. Here's y. And the values are empty, empty, empty. Oh, but these two guys are not. So, we could key in right here. Sum up one for each z and y values. Now, but only if z, that particular element, is, single quote, empty, single quote. And do that for each y in x. So here's the first y, second y, third y. He's going to count up. He's going to get next. He's going to increment by one for each z in the y values. One, two, three, four, five, but only if Z is empty. So I think he's going to bypass these two guys, and we're going to come up with 13. Okay, cross your fingers, here we go. Oh, we got 13. Wow. Well, what if I take that previous summation and sum for all of the values in each row for every single one of the rows, and I assign this to, to uh, total seats. Total seats equals that. And that should give me 15 there. Yes? And what if I then took this guy, and I assign him to a variable, sr equals, seats remaining equals that. Now, what's in ts should be 15. What's in seats remaining should be 13. What if I want to find out the sales for that particular showing? Sales would be equal to what? In parens, total seats minus seats remaining. That's two times the price of each ticket. Well, it's a special super duper 4D theater with rock and roll seats. So it's $20 for each seat. So that's two times 20. And I should get 40. And I do. So there are the total sales for that particular showing. Wow. Well, that's enough for now. This, this is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you could rate this video, I'd appreciate it very much. Clicking on the like button. And good luck.